All right, hello and welcome to the demo for Schrodinger's Cat Girl. This demo does have about an hour of content. I don't know that I'll actually play the full hour of it. Um, the yeah, visual novels are not really my go-to. Uh, I guess it's just me talking about uh, what's being said on screen, and I usually can't pull that off really well. So this video will probably be more of a first impressions of about 15 to 20 minutes. That'll be my plan for this video, just knowing that going going forward. Anywho, I like the, uh, the artwork so far. It's a nice building of some sort, and there's people playing hide-and-seek. It's really here. So how do we get in? I'm gonna go knock on the door. There's no one living here, dumbass. Hey, come back. Keep it down. Ah, door's locked. Did you see that? See what? Uh, inside. Don't. Oh, well, something's creepy. Oh, God. That escalated quickly. Somebody got slashed. Man, well, this is Lemmy Malloy. You sure it's a good idea to record a confession of trespassing? Uh, no one's gonna hear this, it's just for posterity, if you say so. Hmm, this is Lemmy Malloy and Leon Gasper about to begin our investigation of the Hayes Mansion. There have been reports from the town's people of strange noises and lights despite the mansion being abandoned years ago. And last night, during a test of courage, a teenage girl was mauled by an unknown assailant. That's why we've been called in. Hmm. I just think we remember you saying we've got to get in there before the press do. Which... Oh, you've just disembarked. Our captain is, uh, he's leaving. He said to radio in when we were done. Radio check. Backup radio also check. Last will and testament check. So now we're headed towards the mansion and recording and done. Let's go. Hmm. You didn't have to get me, no. Uh, you know, we're going to let you go alone. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm interested. I'm just, I don't know. I'm getting a real weird feeling about this place. Alright. Investigate the lake. Can you swim? If I have to, the ocean and I don't really get along. Well, hopefully it won't come to that. I thought this was like the lake. Uh, as opposed to an ocean, but okay. Please don't tell me we don't have to go through all that. There should be a path, but a match just in case. Hopefully it won't come to that. Uh, Ant portraits. Okay. I think it's like a more of a map. Okay, what what else is there for me to click on? Um Okay. Guess we're uh I guess I missed a valuable clue that popped up. I I read it and I don't even know what how do I continue? Interact space action is mouse button right. Open menu is X. Oh, sweet. I can get to one room. Oh, never mind. There's a thing I needed to click on. That's probably what it is I need to do. Definitely wasn't uh, super clear at first. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't just like a little bit of a um, mauling. That was straight up massacre. Ah, so this is where it happened. Okay, first things first, the picture of the crime scene. Let's say cheese. Should it really be in the photo? Let's see, to take the photo. Photo taken. Uh, what did you do? I don't know, I took a picture and... This is a paranormal phenomenon, for sure. I can't even see what looks like two ghosts. I'll try to get a better look. What is that? It's so hard to tell. I guess it's got a bit, a bit closer. Oh, man, the ghost is gone. Gun, looks like those supernatural rumors were true. Good thing we're here. Hmm. Let's see, cheer him up. Hey, can't be worse than the time with the creepy dolls. Oh, don't remind me of that. Let's look at the bloodstains instead. Much cheerier. This must be where that girl was attacked. I eh, wish we could again look at her wounds, but let's see if we can figure out from here. The way the blood's pulled here. Yeah, yeah, I think she was attacked here, next to these windows, and then ended up resting on the stairs. Hmm, probably. There's a lot of blood, but it's smeared, not sprayed. We're probably looking for something sharp. A knife or claws. What about this blood? My girl's lucky to be alive. Are these claw prints? 
Since you've been attacked by a bear, then you can really mess you up, right? No, these are definitely feline prints, but I don't need cats to get this big around here. Oh, I'll escape Circus Lion with a grudge. Mutant house cat? Or cat? With a grudge? A furry with a grudge? Now you're just being silly. It's a coping mechanism. There's no sign of a weapon. What can we figure out from what's here? And we can use evidence to make things uh, combined. Well, let's combine... Uh, let's combine these two things. A deduce. From this evidence, I have deduced since the girl was attacked by a monster. It's too early to say that it could easily be a human culprit. Way to go with a furry. Uh, an angry furry. I feel like that's probably the likely answer to this. Prince could be fake. You said it yourself. There's no cats that big around here. That's why I said it was a monster. I'm not a normal cat. Maybe some kind of weird cat. Werewolf. Anyway. Either way, we need more evidence of this logical place to look would be... Yep. Oh, we're breaking it. Yeah, I did a good job. Good job, me. The door is locked. And she's going to use the hatchet to break into the manor. Wow. So this is Hayes Manor. We're the first people to set foot in here for 50 years, supposedly. Yeah, which is pretty weird when you think about it. If I had a cool mansion on my old island, I would, it'd take a lot to get me to abandon it. Unless, unless the locals just thought it was abandoned. It looks abandoned. Either way, it's suspicious. All right, time to snoop. Why do I feel like I'm being judged? Because you just broke into somebody's house. That's probably why. Like, I have no, no love for the ultra-rich, but I don't think breaking into somebody's house is the right choice to do. Even under the guise of, you know, uh, the press. This person really, really liked cats. Sounds like a nice person. Can't be too upset with him for having a bunch of cat posters and paintings. All right, let's check out this map. I, I like the map system. Uh, that's that's quite nice. That door is locked. We don't need to go outside. Here's a new door. Ah, another locked door. Not a locked door. Can't uh, take anything, but we can look a lot at the kitty cats. There's a huge amount of cats. Hmm. Water. Another door. Oh, it goes the way that I just came. Oh, this place is kind of messed up. Yeah, there looks like some scratch marks. What else do we have here? But you can squeeze through the gap. Can you? You really think you can? I don't know. Uh, seems like that's probably about it for this room. Hmm. Another locked door. Lots of locked doors. Oh wait, am I lost now? I oh, know that door does its thing. So they were doctors. Okay. Yeah, they were doctors who did some stuff. I'm honestly just going to kind of click through and read some things, not all things. Um, they know that I said I was only going to probably do 15 to 20 minutes as a general first impressions. Um, but uh, it, it definitely is kind of pulling me in. It has... Um, really nice artwork. The banter between the two characters seems to be pretty good. I am reading it. I'm not just clicking through everything. Um, I think it, so far, I would say the writing is pretty well done. And I do like the way that you interact with everything on the screen. Uh, things don't, you know, things aren't just provided to you to notice. You do have to do a little bit of looking around uh, to find whatever it is that you're trying to find, but uh, we're given enough kind of leeway with what we're looking at that I think it um, it helps a bit. Mm, medical degree. 
Graduation photo. Be deuce. You go back to this evidence deduction screen. Oh wait, I didn't mean to take a picture of this room. Um, let's see, scientist photo and the list of names. Oh, no, nope, it's still not the one. Um, you would think that that would go along with that, but... Alright, so you need to click the right thing here. I feel like it's actually showing the same... Alright, hold on. There we go. Scientist photo. List of names. Elan school. Grid. I'm ready to write that. Alright, a medical box... with I imagine one of these is actually going to be the clue that I've already figured out but if I get to the room in the north hall that's almost certainly going to be in the box so the box uh, with Something here, perhaps. Maybe the uh, science photo or whatever. Oh, it's not that one. I'll figure it out. Perhaps. There is no guarantee. Hmm. An overwhelming sense of dread, huh? Oh, we found a new room. It's not really a new room. It's like a room I was already in. Uh, all right. I feel like you know I'm, I'm I must be missing something somewhere. Tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Well, I don't actually know where. There it is. Like, I didn't see anything else. Uh, and you know, the, oh, the clock uh, says something. Is the clock. Eh. Oh, come on. I thought for sure that might be it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to look for. Obviously, uh, in this, um, kind of like... Oh, alright. Well, that was the answer. Climb through the room. I didn't think it would be it, but it was. Yeah, it looks like a cat lives here still. Anything else to click on? It doesn't appear so. Uh... Oh, we got a key, which means we should be able to get into the uh, this spot now. It's kind of super weird that uh, the picture has changed things. I wonder if, like, it means like we've gone back in time or something. Huh. Well, perhaps not. Um, but I did find the key, so let's go to the key. Door. Let's go to the door. We have six more minutes to kind of experience a bit more. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. I guess um, <laughs> it's just like an hour of gameplay, and I just 
blew through it in 15 minutes. I suppose it's because, um, I guess I felt a little bit rushed because I was uh, trying to fit as much into it in the short period of time that I had planned on making this video for the first impressions. Um, if I would have known that it actually wouldn't be like a whole hour, uh, you know, of gameplay, I would have, um, I would have probably have taken a little bit more time and do, done a little bit more reading, but, uh, if you are a fan of like deductive reasoning and like, uh, being a detective and stuff like that, I think this is like a really good title to uh, jump in and try. Definitely an interesting one. I really like the artwork. The banter is good. It's well written. It definitely feels like a very high quality visual novel for visual novel fans. So it gets a recommendation for me. I think, um, I think it's a, it's a quite good title. I, I definitely think a lot of people have a good time with it. Anyway, link is in the description. If you'd like to try it out yourself, have a nice day.